The serious mystery, explained. Is the serious mystery possible? The serious mystery is more of say a hypothetical explanation to dog and cosmology revolving around topics such as religion, astronomy, and the study of culture, within my individual stance. I like to view the serious mystery in the perspective as being nothing but an interesting thought experiment that is highly, highly unlikely. The serious mystery is a scientific conundrum spanning from a time period from around the 1900s, existing for almost over a century. Since its advent in 1976, Serious Mystery knew, scientific evidence of alien contact 5,000 years ago proposes the hypothesis of extraterrestrial contact between the dog and people of West Africa Mali originating from the Sirius star system in our astronomy from beings known as Nomo. It is generally considered a work of pseudo-archaeology, and is often heavily debated. Published in 1976 by author Robert G. Temple, the work proposes numerous evidences to support this stance. It has referenced 19th century anthropologist, Marcel Griul and his own work, Conversations with Ogatemeli, or generally known as Diodio published in 1948. It has also on many accounts took reference on the religious and traditional side of the dog and people linked with its hypothesis. Another 19th century anthropologist, Germaine Dieterlin, had a lot of influence in Temple's brainchild. Having worked with Marcel Grailu herself, she was also involved in the controversy of the study of dog and astronomy. It should be noted her huge contribution to both the serious controversy and other things alike. Effectivement, l'année suivante, en 1969, à Banani, nous voyons les grands masques peints. Il y en a deux. Pour les deux quartiers de ce petit village du pied de la palais, Banani Kogoro, et Banani Banisso. On les adressait au milieu de la place publique et les hommes tournent et dansent autour d'eux. Sometime by the 1930s, anthropologist Marcel Griul had reported that by a month of conversing with a blind hunter, Ogatemeli, they had reported exceptional knowledge of the cosmos. It was said that Ogatemeli spoke of extensive cosmological knowledge, from knowing of the existence of Sirius B to also claiming Saturn had four moons and its rings. It was said that this mysterious hunter was announced deceased in 1962. This blind hunter can also be attributed to many of our understandings of dog and religion and cosmology, taking the occupation of a hogan. Due to the teachings of dog and cosmology to Marcel Griul, who was known for his extensive and dedicated studies of the dog and tribe, Ogatemeli would be considered a huge contributor to our understanding of the dog and tribe. This would make Ogatemeli, and all things which can afterwards of him, the basis of the serious mystery, the most influential aspect of the dog and religion having to do with the serious mystery is that of the Nomo. I will not dive too in depth on them, but essentially the Nomo are ancestral spirits which take the form of humanoid, amphibious and hermaphroditic fish-like creatures. 
These would be the creatures claimed to have originated in the Sirius star system as the form of extraterrestrials which visited the Dogon tribe in Robert Temple's work, The Sirius Mystery. We have been visited here on Earth by extraterrestrials and that we are being monitored. At the very least, we're being monitored. And this, is being, this is continued from the first visitations up to the present day? Yes. Now, we may not be being monitored in what, what's known now as real time. Mm. It may be a retrospective recording by cosmic anthropologists with uh, technology that's, that's got recording devices that are now so small with this advanced technology of these extraterrestrials that they're invisible to us, as ours are becoming. We're already talking in nanotechnology yeah. speculations about uh, computers the size of atoms and all this kind of thing. Well, imagine that you'd gone beyond talk and had actually done it. The serious mystery, of course, would spark huge controversy and criticism as like any other case. An anthropologist going by the name of Walter V. Geek searched for any evidences or relics to prove the dog and had any ancient knowledge of Sirius B but did not find any artifacts or sources to prove it of such leading many to conclude that there is no such evidences of the Dogon having had ancient knowledge of the Sirius star system. On top of that, astronomer Carl Sagan himself claimed that it is highly likely that the Dogon had only gained such knowledge of the cosmos by contact with other societies as addressed in his own 1979 book Broker's Brain. It has also been said that the star Sirius B has a very inefficient to almost non-existent habitable zone, the distance from the star where liquid water can exist and where life can thrive, making it almost impossible for a civilization so reliant on water as the Nomo are claimed to be. The Sirius mystery is yet to this day heavily debated. A form of short-term impact from the result of the serious mystery is it inspired various works. The serious mystery has influenced media such as appearing in Larry Niven and Stephen Barnes' Dream Park series along with Ian Douglas's Legacy Trilogy. Without a doubt, the serious mystery has most certainly played some form of role in pop culture. The serious mystery is more of say a hypothetical explanation to dog and cosmology revolving around topics such as religion, astronomy, and the study of culture, within my in my individual stance. I like to view the serious mystery in the perspective as being nothing but an interesting thought experiment that is highly, highly unlikely. The serious mystery has definitely played a huge role in history as not only anthropological debate of skepticism but also has been a major contribution to many creators in pop culture. It spans from nearly an entire century of anthropology, astronomy, culture and science. <laughs> 